Okay, we'll see how we can uh, uh, do the scenario of if already customer exists, then we can skip the uh, recreating of the customer and bypass that to an update. So before that, let me just uh, uh, rerun the previous execution, the previous scenario, how the commit is happens. It quickly it. So as of now, I'm not moving anything. Uh, so I'm directly connecting it here. So here, made we open the file. Then. This is the file we are working. So let me give this full file path. Even I am just removing it, so it has some problem at the bottom, so I did not build up. So now let me run it, so no modifications, so nothing did. Okay, what I will do, okay, let's do it first. So you can see as of now there is no records in particular table so you can uh, once process is loaded so we'll see what options is been uh, selected earlier let's go to demo connectors database operations what is this operation insert customer what operations options we selected here is commit by profile okay so as of now all the records there in one uh, one one flat file so only one document would be generated and so that like, the expectation would be commit by profile in the sense if uh, since here is few of the records are invalid records because I have altered the uh, customer uh, customer ID number uh, length since in actually it's not in uh, MariaDB in integer character it's not validating a length even if it is maybe it is less also that's why I changed uh, integer integer to var care Okay, it says that it does not exist. What is the atom I selected? It? I don't know. Let me see. Okay. It's run with local atom. <coughs> so now it is not there. So generally, it's not but ideally whatever the length we specified, we should throw an error, but uh, in case of MariaDB, I didn't spend much time while it is throwing, but uh, it's not validating when you specify an integer characters. Length is not validated, so I change that var cap and uh, reduce the length. So now we can see is customer ID is not an integer. Okay, I don't know why. Now it's validating. Okay, customer ID is not an integer caused by Java dot line that number format exception. Okay, you can see that. You can see that it's uh, uh, commit by profile in the sense this is all one profile right? How we can use a one profile? This is a profile ID, profile component ID. It means all for all these records, the commit happens. So let's change the customer ID here to a string var cap so that we can rerun that. What I have changed it. Okay, character seven plus seven plus. Let's rerun it. Let's see any records is been set idly should not. Not a number. No, there is no changes done. 
what is coming here then disconnect disconnect the db and then you try to reconnect it or reset the connection no no it's not it's not the problem in that okay so we remove the we remove the header options here that's causing the issue since first first row as a headers is going and it's trying to validate that okay now it says that there was an except there was an error executing the most recent statement caused by connection 13 data too long for the customer id at row 1 okay no let's go ahead and see what is been inserted here okay as of now none of the records is been inserted it means in the file the profile whatever the elements are there whatever the elements are there and if any one of the sorry, any one of the record is invalid then all the records will be ignored if one profile has all the valid records then only the records will be inserted now i change the option from there commit by database profile commit by commit by profile to a number of rows now you can see the difference here you can see it means till till it, it it finds invalid record all the valid records are being inserted here you need to change the commit by profile options sir commit by profile to commit by number of rows means every individual record every number of record it's basically performing the commit option so once it sees invalid record and it got an error and it and even no it, it did not proceed further and it didn't handle that error it didn't handle that error so but when you when you and let me see one more thing i don't want to delete each and every time manually here let me add one more step so that it will automatically delete all the things let me add a program command as i mentioned earlier you can use program command for uh, wanted to do some kind of a simple uh, uh you wanted to do if any kind of a simple things right uh, uh it's a, a delete or update statements we can use this one so we let's go for maria db new connection maria db new connection so what's the table here is uh it's a customer so delete delete from customer this is a statement so i no need to you know will this one right i no need to do i no need to uh, you know especially delete for uh, manually so the process will automatically delete each and every time the process is started so now let me even disconnect this try catch everything here okay. now this is the first thing what i am doing is i'm just uh, So um, thereafter, I'm splitting the records here. So nothing is done. So since uh, since it finds an invalid record, it's not proceeding further, right? What two workarounds would be here is you can split the document. Uh, you can split the document by retain first line as a column headers. Okay, now you can see the behavior. Anyway, you know just make sure that the first first action would be delete all the records. Then it is going to insert it. so that i no need to delete manually from here okay i can just insert so this time you should see four records are in, uh, inserted 1 2 3 4 records are inserted the fourth and uh, the four then line number 4 and line number 6 are invalid records you don't see those records and whatever the profile you do right you know whatever whatever the option you change here commit by profile or commit by number of rows there is no change in behavior the reason because is every document has only one one record every document has one record then there is no difference between commit by profile or commit by number of rows by default number of rows is performing right means every record is happening you can even refresh it you can see the same difference it means when when the document has more than one record then there is a behavior in commit by profile and commit by number of rows generally commit by number of rows happens every record uh, inserted commit will be performing commit by profile means all the records that is generated all the records inserted in the document then only commit will perform during this commit if any one of the record in the profile is invalid record then none of the records will be inserted so if you want to handle that one right so if you don't want to split if you don't want to split 
so you can just use a try catch uh try catch is basically having you know try catch is basically having a two branches one is try other one is catch it means from this try after this try shape if any one of the shape is failed okay after this shape after the try shape if any one of the shape is failed then the the error will be caught here and uh, there is an error will be predefined error will be there and the first one is uh, if i wanted to track down which particular data that causes an error you can use the current data here you can use the current data here in the current data whatever the document that is flowing that causes this error that document will be cached here automatically the current data will store that information and there is one more property i have added document property this is uh, under metadata under metadata base there is a try catch any error occurred in that when you are using a try catch and in the try path in the try path if any error occurred the default by default uh, the boomi pro boomi will set the error message in this particular document property so that's why what i'm doing is now let me the scenes okay anyway first time again i am clearing it here no issues okay now we can see if you put commit by rows it will behave differently if you put commit by number of columns let's see what option is i made it okay commit by profile okay commit by profile is here now we do insert records are inserted now you can see you can see none of the records is inserted but at least what you can do commit by number of rows you can put it here this time so what happens what happens earlier is till the sys invalid record it's, it's inserting these things and it is exiting why because we didn't handle that error now what we handle is we just catch that error and just logged into the process log and so that uh, it, this particular record will go i really should uh, go for insert records see what error is occurred here this is a customer data this is what the data that causes an error this is the most recent uh, statement uh, data too long for the column same error is showing now let's see what inserted okay i think uh, if you want to go that again we need to use the uh, So if uh, even if since it has has already errored out, so the execution will be come back and you handle that error. But you cannot uh, roll, you cannot go back and insert uh, again these valid records in this. So you need to use a split by options, uh, as we as we showed here. You need to use a split by uh, line. Then you can then you can catch that invalid records over here. If you see this on right right. Yeah, you don't have you didn't have, have option to catch it now you can see you'll have it, uh, two records will be catched you can see now you will be seeing the two records here two documents here i happens only once does it split it document Yes, it's dead. How many records inserted? Four records are inserted. Only one record is yet displayed. something okay why it is showing entire document here is why it is showing entire document it has error current document in the sense this is the whatever the branch you used it what is a coming input is coming this would be a current uh, things so what happens here is we should dot put the try catch here we should put the try catch over here because happening from here onwards right number of documents are splitting not be not here if i use try catch here what happens all the documents are going there one document got error and then it came out of that 
it didn't proceed the second document that's why you see only one document but if you see here right what happens you split it the one document into many documents and if one of the document error okay it will come and it will go and catch this and continue for the next document but if you since we use earlier there is no concept of uh, proceeding again for other documents since only one document is there Let's go back here. You can see that this is a one, uh, other record that causes error. And you can just scroll it up one more time. You can see one more record is follows. And you can just go ahead and see. It's already refreshed. You can see the four records is inserted. Remaining two records, you can just use this and you can just send out an email, something like that. Okay. We'll see that how to use that option to so send out an email and all. So first what we'll do is we will just uh, uh, see how, how we can uh, uh, extend this process if we already customer is uh, present uh, how we can skip that flow now so this is try catch is just if uh, make sure the try catch whenever you use try catch whatever shapes is there in try path if any of the shape has occurred error any of the shape occurred error then only that the catch path will execute and one thing we need to make sure is this is a very important thing this is the only one predefined uh, property that catches that ha that holds the uh, error information when when any of the shapes in the try path has error this is the only one document property that catches the that holds the error message no other thing we have no other way to capture the error messages so these are the two things in, important and there are the retry count is it we need when you say all document there are few cases right uh, data process uh, has occurred document error in the sense other than the connection error not the connectors other than connectors that may be possible you might be using some custom scripting and data process so what happens earlier is when you are using a data process there is a error is there it is not catched by the uh, it is not catched by the try catch shape that's why they change uh, they are introduced one more option called all errors there they mention document errors and all errors when you select all errors irrespective of the error it should be catched there was a bug earlier to, 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 to fix that one uh, because the bug is uh, when any execution, any error occurred other than the connectors, other than connectors, you might be using some, you know, like set property, you might be using connector call during that time, uh, try cache shape is not working behave correctly. So that uh, to solve that issue, they introduce all errors. All errors means irrespective of the error that occurred in the process, it will be catched. And when you say retry, you can go to the document, every retry count one, two three four five times i think maximum you can specify maximum you can specify and after that every every count there is some uh, uh, interval duration will be there let's say if you use retry retry first one and retry second time second retry there is an interval maybe 30 seconds maybe second to third maybe 40 seconds something like there is a different duration is maintained and you will see this retry only in the deployment mode only let's say in this case uh, one document error, two documents got error, right? Those two documents will be trying to re-execute re from this uh, from the tri map shape to here. This you can see only in the runtime. I'll show you when we deploy this and we'll uh, how when we extend this process and deploying, right? We'll show you this one how the retry is happening or not. Okay, now let's go ahead and extend this one. Now, as I mentioned earlier, why we need to use a split uh, splitting? I think you might have idea. You might have some idea why we need to use split. If you don't use split, what happens? You already saw how with the introduction of split, well, how how we can uh, able to insert the other valid records also after the invalid record. Now what we can do is here is let me show you a simple thing here. Let me show you some notify here. Here I am going to extract some particular value, anything from profile. Maybe let's go for a profile element, flat file, go, this is the one. You can select any one of the element. Just wanted to show you how the profile element, uh, how the uh, parameter value profile Hello, I just have doubts. Uh, go ahead. Just in the beginning of the flow, the file mm -hmm. can be anyone, like flat file, XML, whatever it may be. 
right? Is there any restrictions that input file should be in the particular form? In that case, you need to change accordingly, right? So if your XML is there, you shouldn't use a flat file here. The map shape you need to use XML. Okay, okay, okay. Before doing that is that is how basically it will work, right? So the, depends on the input it is coming, you need to you need to use a different shapes or profiles. Not because okay. yes, to validate this one. So same one, what I'm doing. Here is I'm using here as a one more option here so that you can see the difference here. This is a option parameter option I'm going to use for uh, uh, next uh, uh, connector with uh, a customer ID lookup that exists or not. So what I did is nothing special. I'm just going and just trying to display the parameter value how it behaves when uh, before split and after split. Okay, now you can see the parameter value here since it's executed only one time and its value is showing as a 198. But how many records are there? You can see many records are there, but by default parameter value is taking only the first first element record. That's a, that's a problem with the parameter value. So always whenever you're using a parameter option, you will be retrieving the only first record uh, uh, data value. But after a split, you can see the behavior. First one and eight, so it's going every value. Okay, it goes even. You can go next. You can see all the values is there. So now, because if I want to check every record present in the DB, so I need to go. I need to extract every value and I need to check that. So in order to check that, we'll use the decision shape here. Decision shape is very simple if else condition. I can say if condition is true, the, the execution will proceed with the True path if condition fails, you go the false path. Okay, now let me let me remove all these options here so that so I'm just splitting it here. After splitting, after splitting, I'm going to check whether the particular records is there or not in the DB. How to check whether the record is there or not in DB? You can see if I want to check this particular record in DB, right? Select. Start from customer. I use this one, right? So I'll get number of records in the. You can see four records are there, but there first ID equal to one nine eight. Since it is a uh, string, I'm just specifying in this one. Okay, you can see since the record is there, it's giving one. Maybe I can see I can use some other random number. Okay. This record is not there, you'll get zero. So I'm going to use the same condition. I'm going to execute the same statement there. Okay, for that, let's select the first value as here. Is a SQL statement. Now we have seen by the time we have seen current data, date time, we have seen document property, we've seen okay now some uh, we'll see the later now profile element we have seen static we have seen now we are looking at stars the sql statement so you can use the same sql statement what we have used earlier and output always right always you should get only one one output column whenever you are using the sql statement in the decision shape because generally what decision what exactly the decision shape will do is it just performs a is equal b right simple thing a is equal b if if your if your a is returning as an sql output right if a is returning as an sql output if you use some you know random query uh, some uh, something like if you don't use something like here if you use this one it means more than one column will be returned okay more than one column is returned then how can you specify which column to specify which column to pass uh, for this condition out of the more than one column so that's why I always write whenever you're using this SQL statement in decision, you need to use, you need to restrict to only one, you need to restrict to only one, uh, uh, you need to restrict to only one uh, output column. So with this one, I'm just making sure only one column will be written here. You can see only one column will be written here. So that's the same thing I'm doing. So that's the reason we need to use, make sure only one column, output column should be, whether you want to set integer or whatever, yes, you can check the integer. The SQL statement, you write your own SQL statement here. Similarly, nothing is difficult. So I'm just copy pasting the same one. So 
I don't want to hard code this value. Okay, I want to pass this value based on the value that comes from the flat file. So here I am just specifying this as a uh, prepared parameters. For that prepared parameter, I'm going to pass a value here. Where I'm from, where I'm getting a value, I'm getting a value from the profile element. That's the reason I already showed you the how the profile element is behaving uh, uh, for the flat file before split and after after split. So in the since we are already in the inside split, we'll get the value. Okay, we already will will be getting since we already inside split right after data process, we will be getting the individual value. So I'm just checking count star is equal to one. Okay, count star is equal to one. If count star is equal to one means record already present, right? Bring a decision decision right uh, decision uh, uh, no display statement whatever its name. Uh, some kind of question question right has record something like like question statement like it the record is already present count is one then you need to go for false path you can put the same one false path let me just add this one So if record is presented, it will go and it will go. If record is presented, it will go and update it. So maybe we we'll use update statement here in something to similar. Then we can just stop this record. Okay. Now what I will do here is. set what column i wanted to update here is uh, let me go ahead and see the what column i want to update it here is let me revert back let me delete all these records and zero zero that should have been one Okay, now let me alter this value to integer. Where is this binary special integer? Okay, so so now let me reset that customer set let me update the customer name customer name is equal to some value i want to update it where trust id is equal to other value okay. i'll just uh, at this moment i'll just stop this one i'll just connect to the stop so that i can can see this record then later on you can do this one so now let me first check yes this is configured now first is we are deleting all the records inserting into here so update statement we are not uh, going through here now i'll go and check in every records since for initially it will delete all the records right it might have deleted all the records here and by the time it comes here how many records are there six records are there okay see any of the records went to the false path no so you should see the six records in the database okay you can see six records there in the database now generally what happens right if you uh, if you read on these records right then again you will uh, 
it shouldn't insert again okay now let me rerun this records again okay. and then it shouldn't go and let's me let okay since why it is going right we are already clearing this records here now let me since it's clearing each and every time it's go same path now the records already there in the db before that you can see the records already there in db so that uh, all the records should go to our true path you can see that you can see that none of the records went to the true path all the records has get failed okay if i want to update something like customer name whatever the customer names comes from the file customer name plus something i do need i want to add something like this how can i do that how can i do that <laughs> whatever the customer name comes let's say the customer name coming as the customer 198 once i updated this records in boomi right i want to see something like uh, here so that i can easily distinguish whether the record is been updated or not from boomi so how can i do that how can i do that? use a connector even as a uh, database update connector but if you're using this one option right for using this option right for uh, uh, we don't have a thing you cannot use prepaid parameters to pass more than one value here the only thing what we can do here is what we can do here is uh, maybe we can try something like this i am not sure whether really accept or else we'll do another round of things so customer name the okay, first option will be customer name customer name i need to pass something like this here so what i am doing i will pass a one static value here and then use a plus and then use this one so let's see the actual one. means we need to pass three parameters here okay first parameter would be a customer name profile element let's see whether it will work really or not not sure customer name then i'll going to add some static value then i'm going to specify the customer id here See if this one doesn't work, then I'll see the other option. I'll tell you the other option. You can use a properties document property, and you can use same document property over there. Let me go ahead and see. I think it didn't uh, end up right here. Incorrect double value. I think it's not uh, considering correctly. So what we need to use, we need to use set property here. If you are using a database connector, you can use map and you can set the value. But whereas since we are not using that one, you, uh, you don't have an option to concat it. In map, you have options for concat options, all of these. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just defining one property. Next to it should be a document property. So for this document property, what I am doing is, I'll capture the value over here. customer name for that customer name i do have an option of adding this uh, whatever i want in the uh, set properties so that my uh, customer name property document property will be having the actual customer name coming from the file and then i am appending with this one so i am going to define this is a property here okay set property here on this set property i'm just setting a customer name maybe you can write something like that set customer then i'll be going to remove the one of the record here i'll be passing uh, the document property here small process property document property from this here it will be a dynamic document property and the value over here so that we should we should now run uh, as expected Thanks. 
something. Now you can test. I think I did not modify it in the statement. Okay, this one you know we have only one value should be sufficient. Customer name you are passing the document. Customer ID you are passing from profile element. Hopefully this will work now. Okay, now let me sorry. Okay, you can see all the records has been updated. Even you can see none of the records went for the no documents here. You can see all the documents here. Even you can do have an option of seeing uh, uh, the log file here. Even you can see how many times the record has been executed. Everything will you can see in the log file. And how much time it took. Every every details will be there in the log file. Okay, you can see that uh, this is start shape after start check because many records are there now branch okay branch is one the first one is uh, i disconnected anyway stop next data process data process is accepting one input and that split that generated six documents one input is general one document is generated into six documents after that decision is showing decision also executed with six documents document properties also executed means this is a property Executed six times and program command is basically for updating SQL which is also executed six times and stop also executed six times. You can see that in the log which raw each shape how many times it has been executed. Okay, so that's all I wanted to have uh, show you the uh, different option. If you want to you can try with the database connector also for updating this the same customer name as well using the database uh, also, dynamic update option operation. You can you can do this. Sherry so, doubts. Okay, then we'll close the meeting. Yep, thank you.